I'm pissed. I'm pissed that my, my constituents are getting hurt and I'm going to do everything within my power, working with the attorney general, the civil and uh, any other authorities that I can to ensure that these injustices are made to be just. Well, officials with the Department of Health suggest Glenwood Regional Medical Center is a financially distressed hospital in a dire situation. Good evening to you. I'm Jennifer Andrews. And it continues to decline due to its parent company's management. KNOE investigative reporter Riley Kramer has details. After being put on immediate jeopardy status three times in a 120-day period, Glenwood Regional Medical Center is facing a major fallout, which could be detrimental to the residents of Northeast Louisiana. Do you feel personally responsible for any deaths or declining care at your facility? Yes. That was Jonathan Turton, the interim CEO of Glenwood Regional Medical Center. He not only confirmed that deaths have occurred because of Stewart Healthcare's mismanagement, but he also highlighted the immoral actions of Glenwood's parent company. Do you feel it's wrong for those executives to steal from the organization and not funnel you the resources you need to care for patients? That's a yes or no. Is that wrong? Yes. Thank you. These questions arose at the Health and Welfare Committee hearing on Tuesday afternoon, where we heard the truth about what's taking place at Glenwood. One former employee was emotional during her testimony as she called Stewart Healthcare out for lying to the community. She says these are the facilities that have closed since Stewart took over five years ago. So whenever they go to the public and they tell them, we're operating in full force. There's nothing full force about this hospital anymore. It's the saddest thing I've ever been around. She even said she's been in the process of treating patients when she's found out they no longer had a $5 piece of equipment in stock to complete procedures. Representative Eccles says the executive greed and corruption is unacceptable. It's just a big Ponzi scheme. They, they buy an asset, they shuffle the asset to another entity. They then in turn have cash flow moving to an operating entity. They loot that entity and then try to hold the community hostage with the asset being in another separately held resource. And so that to me is the criminal nature of this. It's very structured, it's very organized, and this has happened not only in our community, but multiple communities across America. Beyond not allocating money to provide resources and staffing necessary to operate, the hospital is also facing the potential of losing its license with the LDH since it's continued to violate compliance. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services has put Glenwood on a termination track. If they're unable to get off that track before June 11th, they will lose the ability to accept Medicare and Medicaid payments, which will ultimately shut down the facility. Representative Eccles believes the actions of Stewart Healthcare officials are killing and maiming patients that come to its hospitals. When I've accused these people of being healthcare terrorists, I mean it. Eccles says the nurses and doctors still working at Glenwood are doing everything they can, but they're dealing with a corporate monster. I'm pissed. I'm pissed that my, my constituents are getting hurt and I'm going to do everything within my power, working with the attorney general, the civil and uh, any other authorities that I can to ensure that these injustices are made to be just. I've reached out to Glenwood's spokesperson and CEO, as well as Stewart Healthcare for comment, but I have not heard back. As for right now, the quality of care is continuing to dwindle as KNOE's investigations have shown over the last five months.